On Larry King now, Craig Ferguson. <laughs> yeah, I'm not retiring. No, you're gonna do that was that was the thing that really got me is that like when I said I'm done doing this show and everyone said, you know, on the internet and stuff, it goes, he's announced his retirement. I went, no, no, I didn't. I didn't announce my retirement. I said I was gonna stop doing this show. Why? Ten years is Why? enough, Larry. Well, I think of it more as like a marriage. Now imagine it was a marriage, right? <laughs> and then I'd be out in eight. <laughs> what will you be doing, do you think? The day after. Uh, walking the earth, solving crimes. <laughs> Plus, would you ever do another talk show? Yeah, yeah, I would. But not right away. You know, I would do another one. You'll I like come it. back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't want to do this one anymore. But, yeah, of course. <laughs> All next on Larry King Now. Welcome to Larry King Now. We are at a very famous set with a man who needs no introduction. So why am I introducing him? <laughs> He's one of the most talented men in comedy. Damn the straight, host Larry. Of the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. It airs weeknights on CBS and we're shooting right at his set. I've been a guest so many times, so I'm enjoying the role the other way. I heard you like it both ways. <laughs> Craig announced. He does. That's, that's not an internet thing. He really does like it both ways. Okay. And Craig was. Craig was there for some of it. <laughs> <laughs> he announced that he's leaving his post as the Late Late Show host to pursue other endeavors. Why? 10 years is Why? enough, Larry. It's like, it's kind of I like... did 25 what? on CNN. 20 yeah, 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 but I'm talking, I think of it more as like a marriage. Now imagine it was a marriage, right? <laughs> and then I'd be out in eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... No, uh... hey, my, my marriage has lasted 17 years. 17 sure. years? Well, no. see, that's that's like a proper one, no. Yeah, that's like a real one. About time. Yeah. No, Why are you leaving? It's time for a change, man. It's time for a change. I don't want to stay and keep doing the same thing over and over again. Picture. I want to do something, the same thing over and over again somewhere else. <laughs> Is it true? Yeah. True. That had they given you the Letterman show, you'd have stayed. I don't think I would have. I don't think. Really. I don't think I would have. I, I maybe. Maybe, that it kind of, I don't, <sighs> they didn't, and I didn't, and I didn't, I mean, we knew that before Dave became, you know, before Dave announced that he was gone, I had, we'd already set in position an you out were gonna for me. Leave oh yeah, left. I was out. So if he signed a 10 year contract. It wouldn't have mattered, you know, I mean, what my, the only reason that the, the mind kind of moved around, I mean, cause, you know, Les and I have been doing business for 20 years. It's not, it's, you know what this business is like. It's not that big a deal. Like, you go, you think, well, look, I want to do this, I want to do that. And so we just tied a bow in me getting out of here business-wise. And, uh, and then I get a call that, holy crap, Dave's just announced that he's going to retire. And so then everybody, we all had to shut up and let the dust settle on that. And, but you we told were done. me first. Yeah, I remember I, didn't I told break you. It. Yeah. And then I saw Les Moonves the next night. Right. And he said, don't say anything. Right, but Moonves is, is you know, he's like, he was a nighter. He's cool. It's, it's yeah, he right. he's not one of them. You know? Is it true you got five million not to get the gig? No, that's not true. That's at all. not true. That's not true. Where did that, how did that start? I don't know. I don't know, but it's not true. It wasn't five million. Oh, you got more? Oh, I don't talk about <laughs> money, Larry, for goodness sakes. No, it's no, I, you know. No. All these years, you worked for Letterman? How did that work? Explain no, this. I, I mean, didn't, never we, really understood it. We, we worked in this, it worked in the sense that, uh, that I was given autonomy. I was like, he gave me the greatest gift you could give a comedian, which was a room. You know, but I mean, were your checks from Worldwide Pants? For for the first uh, five or six years, and then it was all uh, CBS. So I mean, uh, CBS and Worldwide Pants were I worked for, and then Worldwide Pants and CBS did a deal. It didn't involve me, but involved whatever business they were doing, and then I worked for CBS. Did you confer with Dave a lot? Did he? Nah, do nah, not at all. Uh, Dave and I, the, the, all the conversations, I think. All of the conversations I've had with Dave are available on YouTube. You know, it's like, we don't really... You know, There's Dave, no secrets anymore. No, anymore. Dave's, a, Dave's a kind of... Uh, he's a private man. Oh, and, very. And I'm on the West Coast and he's on the East Coast. And, you know, he does his thing. What will become of Jeff? 
Jess you was know, me. I played him. Yeah, yeah, I know. That you was a boy. great Jeff. day. I was Jeff. Wherever I go, uh, Josh Robert Thompson, the uh, the comedic genius behind that character and so many others on this show, he and I will stay working together. We're working, figuring out some new stuff to play and with. And what are you figuring out? Well, we're still figuring it out, so it can't... I w I'm not one of these people that would tell you that, you know. You right won't now. tell me. But if he's going with you, yeah, he's it means you are going to do other things. Oh, well, yeah, I'm not retiring. No, you you're going to do... That was, that was the thing that really got me, is that, like, when I said, I'm done doing this show, and everyone said, you know, on the internet and stuff, it goes, he's announced his retirement. I went, no, no, I didn't. I didn't announce my retirement. <laughs> I said I was going to stop doing this show. Yeah, you still have the quiz show. you got a quiz show, right? Yeah, i got a game show that we've, we've shot about 25, 30 episodes of. What is it called? Celebrity Name Game. And uh, it's, it's uh, Courtney Cox and David Arquette uh, got the rights to this show, and they came to me a couple of years ago, and we did a pilot, and we messed around, and we finally we did a deal with uh, Tribune Broadcast, it's Broadcasting. It's WGN. Right, and Sinclair, yeah. uh, and those station groups. When does that start? Uh, September 22nd. You shot the whole thing access, already? Prime time. What? You shot the whole thing already? No, no, I've shot 30, I think, and, and we got another 152 to go. Do you do it at CBS? Nah, we mm. shoot it at uh, Sunset Bronze. Do people win money? Yeah, it's a game show. What do you think they're going to win? Like guys, a hat? There's, there's some celebrity game shows where the celebrities Oh, no, 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 the celebrities on it, but there's good people on it too, like, you know, regular folks. Can you <laughs> win a lot of money? You can win 20 grand if you play your cards right, yeah. Do you like hosting a quiz show? Yeah, I do, actually. It's, it, I was surprised. I'd never really done it, and I... I was surprised at how much fun it is because I get invested in in the thing. You want them to win. Yeah. Right? yeah. The, the, did you ever do it? No. Well, but I would love to. I think I'd love it's to give fun. it. It's the, fun. The way I went to, did you ever see that episode of the Mary Tyler Moore show where Ted Baxter gets a job as a game show? <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and it's hilarious because Ted Baxter's the worst broadcaster ever. <laughs> ever. And then he gets the, the game show gig and he's great right. at it. <laughs> uh, and that's why, because he really loves it. And I think that's what I, I, that's how I approached it. I want to be Ted Baxter and the Mary. Uh, oh, I did host a game show once in Miami called Race to Riches. They showed horse races and the people had a guess. Is that a game went. show or was that when you were working with the mob? Sort of they overlap. Sort of an... <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what can we expect from the final week of the late late show? When is the final night? Uh, December nineteenth, I think. Week before Christmas. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, Do you have plans for the guests? No, I don't have plans for the show. Final tonight. week, is it going to be a blasting big week? Major guests? Um, Hollywood movie no, stars? No, be, it'll be Friends, which, you know... I'd like to come back. Yeah, yeah, that. you'll be in that week, I hope. You know, it'll oh, come be... Come on. It'll be friends who have been friends of the show over the years, some of whom are very big stars and some of whom are not. But I think the, the vibe of this show has always been, you know, it's about who you are, not, you know, uh, not what you are. One of the great shows of all time. We'll be back with Craig Ferguson, we're all gonna miss him, but we'll see a lot of him. Don't go away. We're back with the great Craig Ferguson. We are all gonna miss him, but... What, is this the one that you had at CNN? Yes. Is, well, is this it's actually a, I, yours? Yes, I, yeah, it's mine. I think it's the one where, they're very hard to get. This microphone yeah. was it, when, I started in, in, when I started in radio in 1957. Yeah. This was the mic of choice at every American radio station. I uh, see, those were the days. Now you got them little there poopy things. There was RCA Victor, remember them? RCA Victor? Nah, I don't remember anything. You didn't know you were drinking then. <laughs> They were a big company. Anyway, first I want to quote something. National Public Radio said this about you. Yeah. Ferguson busted up the rigid formula of late night TV wherever he could, producing a show that could split sides one moment and leave you wondering if you stumbled on a celebrity studded acid trip the next. Is that what you set out to do? You know, anybody that's taken acid would say that <laughs> celebrity studies, you don't need to say that because you pretty much get anybody you want in an acid trip. I've had acid trips where, you know, dead celebrities have shown up. <laughs> it's not, I didn't say that. What to, was acid like? Acid? Yeah, what it's was not, it like? It's not good, to be honest. No. I mean, I joke about it. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. You know, it, you, you go on this... You start, and things get strange, and then stranger, and then much stranger, and then you laugh, and then it's uh, eight hours later, you're like, when will this f***ing hilarity end? <laughs> what it's was just, the strangest uh, thing that ever happened to you? On acid? Yeah. Um, I think, well, I talked about this before, I got chased by killer ducks in Kelvin Grove <laughs> Park in Glasgow. 
Uh, Killer ducks. Yeah, I, I think they're, I mean, they're probably not, uh, they were ducks, uh, but they, they, <laughs> they <laughs> there were they, actual ducks there. Did they catch you? No, no well, okay. if they had caught me, I wouldn't be here today okay. to tell you about it. Okay. But they, uh, All right, let's get to other things. Yeah. <laughs> Who would you like, if you could pick your replacement? And we don't know what CBS is going to do. No, right? I have no idea. Uh, I don't think they do either, to be fair. I think that, you know, they're, they've got other, you know, fires to put out before dealing with that. Nina Tasla, you know her, I guess. Mm -hmm, of yeah. course, she's lovely, yeah. She said, we're looking not only from the comic world, but maybe there's the political world. We're keeping a very open mind and we want to be very thorough. I think it's a good idea. I think the political world might be a good idea for them because it'd be something a little different, you know what I mean? Because it seems like, to me, there's a kind of log jam of middle-aged white well, guys. Well, we'll be on against Nightline, though, right? Nightline, yeah, no. well, you know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe a bit of competition for Nightline. I don't think that would be a bad idea. Who is the primo guy in late night now? Well, I thought it's got to be Jimmy Fallon, hasn't it, really? I mean, he's doing the, the big show, and, and, he's doing the, and he's doing very well. I think it's got to be him, don't you think? Oh, what do you think it's going to be like for Dave? Well, after he retires? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't really know Dave that well. So I don't, <laughs> what do you think it's going to be like for him? You know him better than I, I don't know. He, he'll he do some stand-up, I think. He, David Lerman, really? you got to miss it a little. Stand-up? He know. was a good stand-up. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But he hasn't done it in a long time. Know. You know Leno's mean? doing it everywhere. Yeah, Leno had never missed a beat. He'd run at him all the time. He's like, yeah, 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 everything's fine. Yeah, 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 over here. <laughs> He's great. Now, you know. and there's something that always bugged me. Mm. All of us have blue cards. I always bugged you? Sometimes, no, bug, no. All right. or every, like, every talk show host has blue cards. Sometimes yeah, yeah. I use them, sometimes I don't. Yeah, sometimes yeah. I have verb. And I never, we, I never in the past on radio ever did pre-interviews. Right. But they pre-interview here, they pre-interviewed on CNN. Sure. Your show pre-interviews. Right. Why? Because you never use it. <laughs> I don't, well, you, you know, you don't want to. You don't want to put people out of a job so just why, because you're why a jackass. Put, you know, why put some people, of these some of these people have got kids. Let them do the pre-interview. That's fine. It's not my money. <laughs> so, in other words, you're holding these people around just to give them because you're. You're, you're it's helping. feather bed, Larry. It's an American tradition. Okay, but, What's wrong with you? But they're so sincere when they pre-interview you. Yeah, well, they're nice folks. You know, they're, they you're care. a good man. I. I, I do my best, you know, I try. I, okay. I fail like other people. What will you be doing, do you think, the f on December 20th? The day after? The day after. Uh, walking the earth solving crimes. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Solve crimes? Solve crimes, yeah, I want to be a detective. You want to? That would be a great yeah, thing. Yeah, why Let's not? I want to be a detective. I'm going to get a van, and I'm going to go from town to town with my dog and my stoner buddy, and we're going to solve crimes. And that could be a television show. No, 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 enough of that. Just genuinely solve You want solve it to be crimes. real life solve crimes. Yeah, yeah, real life solve crimes. Are you fast? But not scary ones, just ones like, hey, who moved that jar? <laughs> I'm fascinated by human beings. I'm fascinated by their failings, my own failings and theirs. I'm fascinated by the idea that people are greedy enough to risk everything uh, or, or desperate enough to risk everything. I'm fascinated by people. Yeah, I, me too. I mean, I, a crime in particular? No, uh, not really. I used to be. You More know. with Craig Ferguson, the great Craig Ferguson. Oh, good. I love him, who leaves us December 19th. Look, well, stop saying that. I'm not no, he's planning not my own demise. He's going to have a quiz show. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to have, he's going to do other things. We'll explore maybe that after this. We're back with Craig Ferguson. The last time you were on this show, Mr. Ferguson, you said that you are miserable inside nearly all the time. <laughs> were you jesting? I was probably miserable that day. Uh, no, I'm not. Are you a pessimist or an optimist? I think I'm a, a pessimist, probably. I, I, I wrestle with it, but I, I think I'm, I'm frightened to be optimistic because disappointment frightens me. Uh, it, 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 I don't like the idea. You know what Ted Turner used to say? What did Ted Turner say? If you went into his office, don't give me bad news. Please don't bring me bad yeah, news. Yeah, I understand <laughs> that. Yeah, I don't, I don't like bad news. It makes me sad in my tummy. Yeah. Puts and me Edward off Bennett Williams, you didn't know, but the great lawyer, one of the greatest lawyers ever, I asked him once if he was an optimist or pessimist. He said, of course I'm a pessimist. I'm smart. Well, <laughs> think yeah, about that. there may be something in that. I, I, I don't know. I think really smart people, though, are neither. You know, I mean, like really spiritually advanced people, I don't think they connect to it. I think they're just fine. Yeah. No matter how it comes down, they're like, Are you All right. spiritually connected? Me? You. Oh, gosh. Sometimes, you know, after a hot bath, maybe. 
<laughs> On Celebrity Name Game, have you had in your tapings thus far any stupid contestants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how do you sure. deal with a stupid contestant? How do you handle it as host? Well, a stupid contestant is just like a stupid celebrity, you know? He's just like, <laughs> and of course, very, that's a very rare thing, as you know, Larry. <laughs> Uh, That's right, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very rare to get someone who's successful in show business who's dead from the neck up. <laughs> but um, Can you give me the premise of Celebrity Name Game? And yeah, yeah. It's what do they have of, to it, do? It's, you know, it's a little like password, but not at all for legal reasons. But, you know, they... Uh, you like you you like I, you I, a name appears above my head, right? It's the name of a celebrity. You give me clues. I try and guess who it is. There you are. That's it. And uh, the guest tries to guess. The yeah, contest. the celebrity gives the clues, or the guest, or the oh, and it's always a name and the little team. Like I might be one of them. You, now. you've already been one of them, I think. Oh, I have. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You've been. And on then it. they ask questions. Yeah, you're gonna be on it. You're gonna be one of the can, the celebrity dudes on the I show. I would do it. Of yeah, course. yeah. You that would should. Be, that would be, be great. Awesome at it. Would you ever do another talk show? Yeah, yeah, I would, but not right away. You know, I would do another one. You'd I like. Come back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't want to do this one anymore. But, yeah, of course. As a kid, this I, is this true in your memoir that you dreamed of becoming the first Scottish astronaut? I wanted to be an astronaut. I was seven years old when they landed on the moon. And I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to be an astronaut, yeah. Didn't you? No. What age were you when they landed on the moon? About 50? Jewish, yeah, I didn't mind. <laughs> we'll build a thing. We'll send you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to go up in space yet. Yeah, yeah well, I didn't realize the inherent risks involved. No. <laughs> You know, I was seven years old. I thought everything was safe. Would you go up now? They're going to have space. Nah, I'm not. Well, go up with celebrities and Virgin, the Virgin Galactic? Yeah. No, I'm going to go halfway up into the sky and find them sitting next to f Miley Cyrus? No, I don't <laughs> want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> How about if you went by yourself? Well, that, that's with a, different. With yeah. an astronaut. Huh? With an astronaut. Would you go to the moon? Um, yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Not, not right now. I'll wait till the kids get a bit older. <laughs> Tell just, me about the kids. Just in case. Well, what do you know. have at home? Uh, two boys and also some children. See what I did. See what I did. Um, How old? <laughs> uh, 13 and 3. What is, what Scottish people ejaculate once every 10 years, <laughs> e whether or not there's somebody in the room. We're kind of <laughs> like these plants. You know these plants that just go poof. Nurse, uh, every can, 10 years, if you're around me, pff, you're having nurse, a baby. You don't spend a dollar, you yeah, don't yeah. spend no, sperm. No, nothing happens. <laughs> you, you save pants everything. Pants on, pants off, nothing can stop it. If it's it's if virulent. It, I'm it, telling you, it's like the flu virus. Boom! If it's you're every 10 get years, it. it must be an explosion. Yeah, yeah well, it's, uh, you know, I've yet to hear a complaint. What kind of father are you? I never asked you this. I don't know. I think you're probably asking the wrong guy. What does your 13-year-old want to be? Uh, he wants to be, for the most part, left out of my conversations on television, is what he wants. Yeah, they're all that TV. Yeah, yeah, he said, don't talk to me, don't talk about me on TV. So I'm going to respect that, uh, even though this is just... Why are they that way? Game. My son is a hell of a ball player. Yeah, Two yeah. of them, both are. Yeah. So I take him to the Angel game yesterday, going to interview Albert Pujols, great okay. star. Yeah, I know, and, and he, what a name. And we're walking in, and he says, don't say, don't mean anything about me, don't say about my baseball, act as if I'm not here and try not to introduce me. Yeah. Why? Well, you know, when I was a teenager, I was embarrassed all the time. It's just, it's a state of being. You know, your parents embarrass you, your, you know, everybody around you embarrasses you. Your soul, it's a, it's a delicate time of life. What's your three-year-old like? <laughs> Lively. <laughs> He's, uh, I think I got two kids. I got one Spock and one Kirk. <laughs> Do they speak with an accent? No, no, well, yeah, a little bit. You know, it's, you it's, it's, it sounds accent. like L.A. The me. Scotch accent is a wonderful accent. Thank you. I've found it very successful in, uh, in, in certain areas of my life for and years. And I did some bits when you went back to Scotland. I did Yeah, I know. You were cutting. very popular in Scotland. They worship you as their king. <laughs> oh, they love me. <laughs> Craig will answer your questions in our final segment. And the we'll, hell I will. And the we'll hell play, I will. And we'll play a game yeah. of If You Only Knew, maybe. We'll be right back. Craig Ferguson, don't forget Celebrity Name Game starts in September. You'll see it everywhere. You will. You will see For it. For old time's sake, you want to do your impression of me? Ah! There you go. Okay. We have some... So ah! Ah! My son does that, Cannon. <laughs> we have some social media questions for you. At Phoebe Phone tweets, What are the differences between the Late Late Show's Craig and Celebrity Name Game's Craig? 
Uh, is it a different guy or is it you? No, nah, it's me. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, no, but are you going to do nutty things on the game show? Yeah, well, you know, I'll, I'll do what I say. I'll do things. You know, I, I don't have a plan. You know me long enough to know I don't have a plan. I don't no have plan. a plan, you know. At Colleen Byrne via Twitter. Now, what about the I effing love science show? Oh, yeah, yeah, what yeah. What is that's, that? That's a good show. No, that's You're a show that? that's from a Facebook page. It's very popular. Um, uh, it's called uh, I Love Science is the name of the Facebook page, and it's uh, Elisa Andrew does this uh, the very good kind of uh, a very populist approach to fascinating areas of science. And I'm doing a, I'm producing and uh, working a little bit on camera with uh, the, the the Science Channel to to. Uh, to do you that do show. do voiceovers too? Yeah, I'll do some voiceovers. Boy, you're, so you're, you're, not, you're not going away at I all, my God. I keep telling you that. I'm not doing this okay. show. Okay. Man. At Baron Liz via Instagram, wants to know how you pull off the German accent. Well, it depends on who you talk to. I mean, if you talk to Germans, they'd be like, he doesn't pull off a German accent. But I... I think this is for many years watching Hogan's Heroes reruns on television. Hogan. <laughs> That's very Hogan. good. Hogan. You must be very proud you won the World Soccer Cup. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. At BG Rhubarb tweets, what makes BG you happy? BG Rhubarb? BG Rhubarb. Okay. What makes you happy? Who makes you laugh? If you could, would you change anything in your past? Well, that's a lot of questions the right there. Change, I mean, that's, right? that's not one question. That's a whole bunch of stuff. The drinking, you change. No, no, I wouldn't. You do it again? No, I do... neither regret the past nor wish to close the door okay. on it. I, what makes um, you happy? Uh, my wife and kids make me happy, my family. What makes you laugh? That fucking robot makes me laugh. <laughs> that, that Josh Robert Thompson and that robot guys and all the other stuff, he makes me laugh. He's very funny. Many social media questions ask this question. Okay. Cozy Hobo is the one we quote. Okay. What makes you so darned adorable? Is you that's you that's asking that question. No, I swear really, to God. I don't think you can ask that about someone. You know, I think that... That's like saying... Uh, all right. Do you think you're a sex symbol? No. No, not at all. You're a very handsome man. Well, so are you, Larry. I'm attracted to you, but I'm married. And I'm attracted to you and I'm married. Yeah, okay. So it's okay. I, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think if we go three miles uh, off, Out to sea, offshore, yeah. Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Um, I... Uh, <laughs> That's true, I think. Okay. Yeah, no, it's all right. <laughs> No, I don't think, I think if you think about yourself like that, that way madness lies. I don't think that's a healthy way to live. I don't watch myself on TV. I don't, I, I no longer myself. Google I, myself. I, no I don't longer, watch myself. You know, you know, none of that. I don't Google at all. No, no, forget it. Okay. Uh, we play a game of if you only knew. You ready? <laughs> yeah, first person yeah, you yeah, kissed. Yeah, right. Who was the first girl you ever kissed? I think Karen Cameron. Oh, how old were you? Uh, I guess it was about nine or ten. She used to always do, uh, the, I don't know if kids, uh, girls in America do this, but little girls in Scotland, in the schoolyard, they would do handstands against the wall when they were wearing uh, their school uniforms so you would see their underpants. And they would all just go up and practice doing handstands against the wall, which I found uh, at, at nine years old intensely fascinating. It's a, it's a shame that women grow out of that, actually. There's a couple, <laughs> and a couple you kissed of, her? Uh, there's a couple of actresses. I didn't kiss her while she was doing a handstand. No, no. That kind of stuff Where did later. you kiss her? But the the uh, what? Where, where did it occur? On her mouth. No, I know that, but where? The building outside? Of... Oh, uh, I don't know. I think he was on the way back from school. Man, you're sounding a little pervy right did now. You find, did you find out whatever happened to her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She still lives in my hometown. I saw her mm. a few years back. Yeah. Who's your all-time favorite comedian? I think Billy. I think Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly or Stan Laurel? Billy Connolly is hysterical. He's amazing. And, and see, Billy to me is kind of like, uh, like Jackie Robinson, you know what I mean? Like, before Billy, there was nothing for <laughs> guys like me. There was no, like, guys, there was nobody sounded like me. No one, there was not. That's right. You know, there would maybe... It just wasn't the same. And Billy uh, changed the game. He's number 42, you know. Uh, and Stan Laurel. Uh, Stan Laurel was. As I mean, even well, now. Well, that's a fine jam you've I got. I mean, that's, no, that guy has, I mean, I think Stan Laurel died in the 70s, maybe, yeah. right? And, and he was working in the 20s, really his heyday, 20s and 30s. So almost, you know, it's certainly 90 years ago. And you can look at that stuff and still make you laugh. Oh. I mean, that's amazing. Question you're sick of being asked about Scotland. Um, what does the Scotsman wear under his kill? And you answered lipstick. Lipstick, uh, yeah, yeah. What characteristic do you loathe most in other people? 
Um, judgmentalism. Mm. Fundamentalism. A lack of humour. Uh, a a, a civil three. surfing mentality. Nitpickers. <laughs> pen pushers. <laughs> people who just want to play by the f***ing rules and never bend the f***ing rules for a mitigating circumstance. You know these people? F*** those people. Yeah, damn. Ooh, can I put that in? Because you can bend the rules for me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it in. That, that word has become... Oh, you can say that now? Yeah, on on internet. Yeah. Do you say it? I I will. Rep I don't say it. Why? I say it off the air. Well, because you come from a more genteel era. I come. I started in 1957. Right. I'm 80 years old. No and way. Eight, not many 80 year old performers use that word. No, it was a taboo thing to do then. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Describe yourself in a phrase. Complicated. There, that's a word. Describe me in a phrase. Beautiful. Guess you'd most like to interview. This I don't give a about interviewing anybody. No. They'll take whoever they put in front of me. Person you wish, so you don't care who you missed or anything. There's no. No, no. I look. I, I, I'll be kind and interest. Look, anybody who's on this show is worthy of my attention. You know, I, I'll treat them like a guest. I really want to hear what they have to say. I genuinely you do, do. I know that. You know, I'm like you. I mean, I'm interested. But I'm not like, oh, if only I could talk to, you know, nah. When right. was the last time you were afraid? Um, deep. That's deep. I saw, I saw a guy, it's an odd thing, fear. It comes and goes in very odd ways. You know this, you're a parent, right? So here's what I, uh, the last time I was afraid, on the way to work today, I saw a guy, an LA douchebag, uh, driving, and texting, and he went straight through a stop sign. And I suddenly felt a pang of fear because I ride around in uh, cars with my kids. And that douche is around. And that's how fear spikes with me. Well said. If you could be anywhere else in the world right now, where would it be? Scotland. Tell me something we don't know about you. I smell a bit like mint. <laughs> <laughs> On that wonderful note, Thank you, Craig. I will be on your show yeah. tonight. Oh, you will? Yes, I will. Do I have I'll to ask you all this that you asked no. me? Thanks to my guest, the inimitable... Read that. Say that again. Inimitable. Thanks to my guest, the inimitable Craig Ferguson. The Late Late Show airs weeknights, 12.35 a.m., uh, 11.35 Central on CBS, and Celebrity... Oh, for God's sake. The Celebrity uh, Name Game yeah, premieres yeah. September 22nd. Don't miss it. And remember, you can find me on Twitter... Twitter. You're good on the Tweety. You're, I, you, I, yeah, I follow you on it. You're good. You understand it. I try. Yeah, no, you're good. We'll be back. We'll see you next time. We'll Say goodbye. Ne Say see goodbye. You next time. See you next time. Goodbye.